Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be mixing it up and diving into one of my favorite things in the whole wide world, coffee. And living in NYC, there is no lack of coffee shops. So let me take you on a journey to discover five sorta underrated coffee shops here in New York City. These hidden gems offer unique experiences and flavors that you won't want to miss. So let's get started. Our first stop is Monkey Cup, located in Harlem. This charming cafe is the passion project of a delightful Venezuelan couple. The moment you step inside, you'll feel the playful energy and mischievous monkey themes surrounding you. It literally feels like you're in a childhood treehouse. From their Kyoto cold brew to the monkey drip, every sip and bite was delicious. They have like an espresso aftertaste, very light, like almost like I'm drinking an iced tea. Whoa. Oh, I totally see what you mean. And the best part? Every cup comes with their signature monkey latte art. Just look at this adorable monkey chino. <laughs> if you're a fan of Instagrammable spots, you'll love Monkey Cup. Plus, they have an amazing chocolate almond croissant, my two favorite pastries all in one. <laughs> and they were so kind and really made us feel welcome. Monkey Cup is not only a great place for coffee and pastries, but it's also a great place for productivity, just as long as you don't need Wi-Fi. Its vibrant atmosphere is perfect for studying, writing, or catching up with a friend. So if you're looking for a productive zone with delicious treats, Monkey Cup is the spot for you. Up next, we have La Dorée, a pastel paradise nestled in the heart of Soho. Now, okay, okay, I know this one isn't exactly underrated, but to be honest, I was surprised by how empty it was. And with such an incredible vibe, I'm surprised I don't see more about this place. So I'm considering it underrated, even if it's just me that's been underrating it all this time. Stepping into La Dorée feels like entering a charming corner of Paris. This French luxury bakery is known for its delectable pastries, macarons, and of course, their afternoon high tea. We didn't stay for tea this time, but we will have to be back to try it. The elegant and sophisticated atmosphere makes it the perfect place to enjoy a delicious treat and a cup of coffee. Whether you're a fan of their famous macarons or their delightful croissants, each pastry is a work of art that is both visually stunning and absolutely delicious. And the prices were surprisingly reasonable, allowing you to indulge in an opulent setting without breaking the bank. We certainly tried a lot. <laughs> what I love about La Dorée is its versatility. It has a work-friendly section in the front where you can bring your book or iPad and enjoy the peaceful ambiance, but it's also great for meeting friends or having a business lunch. Oh, and don't forget to try their Cherry Blossom Latte for a trendy and Instagram-worthy drink. Our third stop takes us to High Collar Cafe in the East Village. Now, this coffee spot is more restaurant than cafe, but their coffee selection is too good not to include in this list. High Collar exudes a chic and intimate ambiance, perfect for savoring your cup of coffee in style. But what truly sets High Collar apart is its menu. You can choose from a long list of single origin coffee for their signature siphon coffee. If you're not familiar with Siphon coffee, have you ever played Animal Crossing? Yup, Brewster serves siphon coffee in everyone's favorite cozy game. But High Collar doesn't just stop at coffee. Their food selection, including Japanese souffle, pancakes, and pork katsu are the perfect combinations to your coffee. They only make a limited number of the katsu sandwich, which was to die for. So make sure to go early for lunch. And those souffle pancakes, they were simply heavenly. So High Collar is not only a cafe, but really whatever you need it to be. A quick caffeine boost, decadent lunch with a friend, quiet business meeting. I even saw someone sitting down getting work done on their laptop. Whatever you need, unwind with their siphon coffee, ignite creativity over the irresistible Berkshire pork katsu sandwich. Seriously y'all, this sandwich was so good and foster productive discussions while indulging in fluffy Japanese style hot cakes adorned with specialty butter and maple syrup. It's the perfect harmony of heavenly pancakes and a velvety cup of coffee. Now let's move on to our fourth hidden gem, La Cabra in East Village. Now this one I'm 
really stretching the definition of underrated on because when we arrived promptly at 8 a.m there was already a line out the door so no sorry this one isn't underrated but it's so damn good the line should honestly be even longer we should all appreciate this place even more so yeah i'm gonna stretch it and put it on this list the specialty coffee roaster and cafe has recently opened its new space and it's a calm oasis of nordic design you you know a coffee is exceptional when it's trusted by Michelin-starred restaurants, and this renowned Danish coffee company supplies multiple of these esteemed dining establishments, showcasing the unparalleled quality and taste of their brews. If the endorsement of Michelin-starred restaurants doesn't convince you of their excellence, I'm not sure what will. The clean lines, natural materials, and neutral color palette create a serene retreat from the outside world. The space embodies the brand's commitment to specialty coffee design and hospitality. If you're a coffee enthusiast or simply looking for a peaceful getaway, La Cabra's new space is definitely worth a visit. Their selection of pastries looks so good, it's practically impossible to choose. But if you find yourself stuck at making a decision, I recommend going with their cardamom bun. That's what they are best known for and it definitely lives up to the hype. I also tried their blood orange pastry and Wow, it is a good thing I live on the other side of Manhattan from here, otherwise I'd be standing in that 8 a.m. line every morning. <laughs> One note about this cafe is it's not a place to go to work. They have cards on each table asking people not to bring their laptops. I saw one man with an iPad clearly studying for something, which I guess that's a workaround. But the point is, this is a peaceful retreat where you can savor specialty coffee blends, watch the skilled baristas at work from the long bar, or relax in the cozy seating area. But if your goal is to get work done, then maybe grab a coffee and pastry to go. Last but not least, we have Cafe Floor in Chelsea, a charming oasis that allows you to escape the hustle and bustle of the city. It is truly a plant lover's dream. This large yet cozy cafe offers a delightful array of coffees, teas, and baked goods, making it into the perfect spot to recharge and savor a moment of tranquility. The abundance of plants and greenery creates a lush atmosphere and transports you away from the urban jungle. And here's a little secret. Cafe Floor also transforms into a bar at night, offering a bar menu featuring a selection of cocktails, beer, and wine. So whether you're stopping by for a morning latte, a midday snack, or an evening drink, Cafe Floor has you covered. It's also an incredible place to get work done with ample seating and sufficient Wi-Fi, a rarity in this city. And every time I've been here, I've been surrounded by other productive New Yorkers getting to work. Personally, I love coming here at 4 p.m. to get some work done and grab an espresso martini during the happy hour period. Now, was I stopping by here at happy hour when I filmed this? No. No, it was actually 11 in the morning, so I wouldn't miss my train out of the city later that day. However, we did learn that you can order their espresso martini at any hour, apparently. Seriously, shouts out to the baristas cheering me on ordering an 11 a.m. cocktail. But they were so wonderful and told us about a new waffle and smoothie location they will be opening up soon. They let us try a sample of their gelato they'll be selling at the new place, and you best believe I will be going as soon as it opens. And there you have it, five sort of underrated coffee shops in NYC that you need to visit. From the playful energy of Monkey Cup in Harlem to the opulent experience at Lauderay in Soho, the chic and intimate ambiance of High Collar in the East Village, the calm oasis of La Cabra, and the charming escape of Cafe Floor in Chelsea. Each of these coffee shops offers a unique experience and delicious brews. So grab a friend or take some time for yourself and explore the vibrant coffee scenes of New York City. Cheers. Thank you for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more adventures. And as always, leave a comment down below with your favorite coffee shop in NYC. Maybe I'll go and visit that one next. Until next time, happy sipping. And most importantly, remember to keep smiling.